Okay, I'm going to show you how to find out what firmware your printer has that uh, Epson either has downloaded or what your printer is right now. This is the Workforce 4630. The 4640 will be exactly the same way. You're going to come over to your little panel, LED panel, and right there by Setup, you're going to press Setup Sheet. So you want to press Printer Status Sheet. Configuration sheet. And then you print it out. Now it'll print out two sheets, but you're only concerned with the very top sheet. Under hardware configuration. Firmware, there's your firmware. And then there's uh, what they call um, mainframe firmware. That's what you're looking for. Come over, and there's the two numbers GM21F1 and 26.C7. That, that one you do not want. It will shut down the aftermarket chips. Okay, now here's another Epson. This is the Epson Workforce 3640, 3630. The same thing is going to happen. You're going to go over to Setup. And then you're going to look for, I'll show you right there, Printer Status Sheet. And then you're going to go to configuration, just like on the other printer, and print it out. Now, we've done the latest firmware updates on this printer, and so far Epson hasn't um, shut it down. So don't allow updates. I'm going to show you how you can check for that and stop it from happening. Workforce. 3640 because it was doing a printhead cleaning for whatever reason and it wouldn't print out so now we're over here on the version now I just did uh, any firmware updates to check if Epson has any firmware that shuts down a chip and this one here is a good one CB2 6EB dot 9C and they're good but like I said don't let it do any updates because it definitely shut down our 4630. In the workforce, 7610, 7620, 7110, they're all going to be the same. Again, you're going to go over to Setup and you're going to go to, it says right here the same thing, printer status sheet. You want to print that out, configuration, let it print out. You look down at it, there's your version software. This is the latest one. It has not shut down any of our chips. So uh, as long as you don't allow it to do too many updates, then you're going to be okay. This one is fine. AD14E4 20.94. Now I'm going to go over on a computer and I'm going to show you how to shut down that automatic updates. You, you want to go like you're going to print something. Then you're going to go over and pick the printer that you want to get the firmware for. This is the Epson 4630. Uh, uh, the 3630 and uh, 7610, 20, they're all the same. You go over here, go to Properties. And then you're going to click on Properties. And then you're going to go into Maintenance. Go into Maintenance. And then you want to, say if it pops up, you, you definitely don't want to do it. But I go over here to software updates. I'm just showing this on the computer. It's going to ask me, yes, should I find out? 
You pretty much have to do that to shut it off. I mean, I'm sure there's another way, but this is the only way that I know how to do it. Comes up, it's checking. Eps is checking. And you're going to see essential product updates and other useful updates. You don't want any of them. Don't update if it's not broken. You can see I did the latest one, so there's none there. But then I go down to where it says auto update. I click on that, and I set it all the Epsons that I have up there to never. So I don't have to ever worry about that again. But if there was little check marks like fact, utility, and that, I, and especially this one up here, as you can see, we've already tested it. You don't want to check that. Uncheck it. And go to exit. And that's it. That's how you turn it off.